Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the RU Show. I am your host, Ansley Hamilton, and today we are at the Georgia Southern Farmer's Market. Yay! These are my favorite days. So we're going to walk around and ask some students what they've found today, what looks interesting. Might interview some vendors. It's going to be a great time. I hope you guys see something that looks cool that inspires you to come out to the next one. All right, y'all, I am here with a recurring guest on the RU Show. What's your name? Just I'm people. Bryce Buchanan. Nice to see you again. And so uh, you having a good time out here at this uh, farmer's market? Oh, definitely. Um, I was just coming down here just because, like, I don't ever come by the Russell Union, but I was thinking about getting food, but I saw this, and I was like, well, I definitely want to see what's happening. Tons of food here, tons of snacks, tons of good stuff. Mm -hmm. What is that you are uh, drinking? It's a smoothie that I just made, actually, on the wow. bike over here. And it's let's just... A, let's get a better view of that. Follow us. So it's a bike that you pedal to work the blender. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. And so I got in here as I got some frozen strawberries, yogurt. Right now they have a lot of options in terms of like alternative options like uh, almond milk, soy milk, Ooh. and they also have a vegan option yum, right now. Yum. So it's pretty good, and I got some bananas and yogurt. It was, it's pretty awesome. good. So what uh, what do you think your favorite stand so far has been at the farmers market? What else have you perused, the so to speak? The only ones I've checked is really here. I believe this is just specifically the wellness center. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm about to go check whatever the yarn um, plushies are over there. I've they look shopped really cute. with her before. They're really adorable. Yeah, uh, they're a bunch of like fun little creatures. As you can see, there are some like Pokemon mm -hmm. inspired. I might have to pick up that little Charmander plushie I in the know, front. They look so it's cute. too cute to function. Oh gosh. All right. Well, good stuff. Yeah. But at the end of it, I'm just trying to get my free shirt uh, from the sustainment center. Oh, um, that's so. right. If you get a little, they give you a little punch card, and if you punch all the things, you visit most of the tables that have to do with the wellness of uh, what the farmers market is for, which is a green movement. Um, you get a free T-shirt. Who doesn't love that? I like free T-shirts. I like free T-shirts. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, answering my questions. Wow, you can see it in action. I Check know. it out. That is too cool. You get a good workout in, too. It's a good time. All right. All right, y'all. I am here with, what is your name? Bree. Nice to meet you, Bree. <laughs> so what have you been doing today at the farmer's market? I looked at the little plants. I got a little baby plant. Look at that thing. That is so cute. It's so cute. I love it. And I looked over at the crochets, and I'm about to go look at honey. Oh, gosh. I cannot wait to visit the honey stands later. I love honey. So what are you going to name this little guy? I don't know yet. What inspired you to adopt him into your heart? I love plants, but I'm not the best with like keeping up with plants, so it's tiny, so I think it'll be perfect. I think so, yeah, it looks very, very manageable, and plus you'll get to watch it grow and thrive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I hope you have a wonderful day at the farmer's market. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think that these are the plants that were being uh, shown off earlier. Lots of beautiful stuff. If you're into plants or you have a green thumb, highly recommend coming by and checking out a place like this. I am here with, what are you guys' names? Uh, Nandi. Kamali. It's nice to meet you guys. So, what have you guys been doing today at the farmer's market? Um, I came and got a plant. <laughs> it's an adorable little plant. Do you know what kind of plant it is? Um, this one was called, if I'm not mistaken, the Green Goddess. I, I walked around, I went to a bunch of the different sustainability tables. They had a lot of nice stuff going on, a lot of good information. You know, so I feel like I learned I learned a lot today. Definitely a step forward in the green movement that I think we all can agree that this campus needs to push for continuously. Uh, what else have you guys been checking out today other than plants? Um, I checked out the uh, big tent behind us. They're making smoothies like with a bicycle yeah, and I thought that was really so cool. cool. <laughs> so what made you choose this plant in particular? Did your soul just like call out to it? Yeah, I kept looking back at it compared to the other plants that were on the table. And so I just ended up just going with it on a whim. Sometimes one just catches your eye and you can't help it. Uh, did you see any tables that you're more excited to visit? Uh, I still haven't gotten really to look around that much yet today, but I know, I feel like all the tables have something different, unique to offer, so I'm ready for that. Also, last time they had a thrift shop going on, and that was like, really, really cool. Oh, I'm excited to look at some of the shoes they've got, because I always need new shoes. All right, well, thank you guys so much for answering my questions. I hope you guys have a wonderful day at the Farmer's Market. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. All right, you guys, I am here with, introduce yourselves to the people. 
Uh, I'm Chris Haynes. I'm Claire. It is nice to meet you guys. Uh, so what have you guys been doing today at the farmer's market? Uh, well, we just got here about like 10 minutes ago and been touring around. Uh, I got myself a nice watermelon popsicle. Uh, How is it? Uh, it tastes just like a watermelon. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, also, it also looks like one. It's got like a little green oh tint gosh, at the bottom. So it's so cute. Yeah. I love Palmetto Pops. It's the stand over there that has all the popsicles. You gotta love them. Uh, they've been on campus a couple times before and I always make sure to scoop up a couple. Uh, what about you? What have you been doing today? Um, I went to the plant lady, I don't know her name, and I got a Vitata. Oh, that's a beautiful little plant. What made you choose that one? Um, she said it was cat safe and easy to take care of. Noted. Yeah, always looking for cat safe options. What, uh, did you, have you guys seen any tables that are you more excited to visit? Or like looking forward to? Uh, it was really cool seeing the thrift store here. Uh, that's definitely something I hadn't seen before. You think um, you guys are going to check out the thrift store and maybe get, get some new threads? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said it like was free or something, so I don't know. Right, word. word. Who doesn't love free stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for answering my questions. I hope you guys have a wonderful day at the farmer's market. <laughs> All right, you guys. I am here with what is easily the cutest vendor I have seen today. What is your name? Lily. It is so nice to meet you, Lily. And so what stand are you running? Um, H.L. Franklin's Healthy Honey. And what is so special about your guys' honey? Well, there's no sugar or anything like bad in it. It's all completely natural and it's all healthy. That's wonderful. Do you have a favorite honey here that you like to pe tell people is your favorite? Um, yes. The wildflower and the tupelo. Oh gosh, I love a good tupelo honey. So what do you think makes honey so special? I think it's special that like the bees can like can just like pro they have a natural ability to do all that to make have all that kind of strategy and like kind of work together to like make that that necklace. It is really cool. Thank you so much for interviewing with me today. Thank I you. your stand is adorable and I hope that you guys sell the most honey out of anyone here today. Thank you. Alright y'all, I am here with what is your name? Michaela. And Michaela, what have you and the Office of Student Wellness and Health and Promotion had to do with this whole thing? Yeah, so we are focusing on the relationship between sustainability and health, and we're focusing on that through our three different activities. So we have one table that's talking about the Green Period Pantry, which uh, through that we are giving away free menstrual cups and reusable pads, which helps to reduce waste and like the financial burden on students. Then we're also doing an activity called Shipping and Shopping, where we're talking about the environmental, social, and financial costs of shopping for new clothes versus thrifted clothes, and we're doing that with like kind of a Price is Right style game. Oh, that's so cool. And then we also have uh, a seasonal right. eating activity where we're talking about the benefits of seasonal eating. We're trying to do like a guessing game with um, seasonal produce to see what students think and what actually is seasonal produce. And then we are also letting students make their own smoothies with a smoothie bike. So, so cool. if you want to come so out cool. and make your own smoothie with your own manpower, come join us. Absolutely. So it sounds like the real takeaway that you're hoping students take away from this is the importance of sustainability. Yeah, we want to focus on the fact that it's not just helping like the planet or something abstract, but actually helping your own personal health, your friends, your neighbors. All right, you guys, that was the Georgia Southern Farmers Market. There were some local vendors, tons of students having a great time. There was plants, honey, adorable children selling said honey. There was clothing and smoothies and bikes, oh my. So I hope you guys saw just a little bit of how hard the Office of Student Wellness and Promotion works, as well as the Sustained Southern program to make things fun and engaging, but also informational. Sustainability really is the best way to go. Reuse when you can, recycle when you can. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of the RU Show. I was your magnificent and green host, Ansley Hamilton, and I will see you guys next week with another episode. Bye-bye!